Behold, the Georgia Guidestones. These granite monoliths mysteriously appeared about 40 years ago. And if you're thinking aliens or a cult or even the Ten Commandments, well, you're not the only one. Just ask this guy. If you take pictures of it, you get a blue orb. When you put your head down in there like this and look through it, all of energy comes through that sucker, man. Things at this southern Stonehenge are about to get totally weird. These granite slabs are on a farm outside of Atlanta, and no one knows exactly what they're doing here. In future generations, they will wonder, who put those stones there? Why did they put those stones there? Hudson Cohn was here from the beginning, 1979. He took these photos as the Guidestones went up, 19 feet high, a quarter million pounds, and built to withstand an earthquake. The four slabs of granite each have 10 guiding principles of truth and harmony. They're inscribed in English, Russian, Chinese, Arabic, the list of languages goes on. But what does it all mean? I've had people some and say it was some kind of Satan worship shrine and it ought to be torn down. And I've had others say it was the uh, holy spot on earth that the Holy Grail was buried under there. Some people think it's a beacon to UFOs. Hudson is one of the only people to meet the man who knows the true meaning. His name is R.C. Christian, and he paid for this all to be built. And wouldn't you know it, R.C. Christian is a fake name. And he was very concerned about the environment. Do you think he could still be alive? Probably not. I'd say early to mid-70s then. Uh, I'm not saying he couldn't be alive, but he'd been an awful old man. Even the people who built the Georgia Guidestones say that they don't even know for sure why R.C. Christian wanted this. Not even Wayne Molinax, who sold five acres of his cow pasture to make space for the stones. My house uh, from here is about 600, maybe 700 feet down there, and we didn't have a problem unless somebody was going to come and sacrifice one of my cows, then I would have had a problem. Did that happen? No, it did not, but I did get nervous several times. Mostly what's happened is a constant flow of tourists to Georgia's granite country. That's what this region is known for. We do headstones and things of that nature, monuments. We do war memorials and things like that, but this really is one of the largest. The Guidestones bring about 10,000 people a year to a town with a population of only about 4,500. People all the way from Australia and China. With all the tourism, is it possible that R.C. Christian was someone from Elberton that simply wanted to promote the area? I'm thinking probably not, just because there was no marketing done really after the Guidestones were erected. If you're going to put up something of this nature, then you're going to market that, right? You're going to tell everyone. One of R.C. Christian's conditions was that there'd be no tourist attractions on the land, no t-shirt shops or crystal necklace stands, but there's no stopping the cosmically curious and the theories they bring with them. I try to get up here three to five times a week. The real secret is under there. At some point, these will come down, and there's a time capsule right under there. There's actually been a lot of speculation about the existence of that buried time capsule. There's some things you just don't tell everything. Do you think it's there? Uh, let's just say I'm not going to answer that. What's supposed to be in it? Well, a lot of times there's capsules in different places with different things in it. And that could be the true identity to the group that uh, Mr. Christian represents. Maybe the time capsule's buried somewhere but not there. I didn't say that. That's just, that's just my speculation. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Whatever the reason, these slabs are built strong enough to stand on this earth longer than any of us, leaving a future generation guessing. It's like looking at a painting. You can see the painting, but you don't know what the painter really meant. Whatever it means to you is what it means. There's no right or wrong.